Hey guys, this is Jake with Bitterroot Rambler. Um, just finished a project, so I thought I'd show it to you. Uh, I was talking about uh, the kitchenette um, and working on that, and I got her finished, so. Here it is. Installed. Um, it's made out of half inch. Uh, birch veneer plywood. Um, same thing that I made um, the two dividers up here out of. Same exact stuff. And uh, the top is um, big enough to fit a specific stove that I, I, I bought. Um, and I'll show you that. A uh, picture of that with the stove on there. Um, it's a two-piece kitchenette. Uh, I came up with this because I, I didn't want to have this in here all the time. So basically, it's got these latches on the side of it here. It's got two here and two on the other side. Pop those latches off, and this whole top uh, piece comes off, um, and you're left at the bottom there, and that becomes a piece. So I can have um, six seats in the van. This here would be the six seats. Got that one over there that I'm working on. That's actually got um, an ice box in it. I'll show you that too. Real quick. Um, I just pulled the top off here. I made this out of an old. It's got a bunch of dry goods in it right now. I need to figure out how to seal the top here. So I made this out of an old water tank. Um, I insulated it. And this is actually half inch oak veneer. Had some oak veneer left over from another project so I decided to use that and use it up. Um, so yeah, so that's a little that's a little cooler. But this I just finished. I got a little hook on here and a towel rack. Um, this here, this here pulls out like that, and I can uh, put anything on there that uh, I'm using when I'm cooking. Utensils and spices, or, you know, whatever. Um, put this metal. He's back there, and that's just to protect the back from if it's still jumping around and bumpy or whatever. I might put a uh, spice rack or something right inside here. This is kind of a, a large spot. That's where most of the pots and pans. Actually, I think most of the pots and pans are probably going to go on the bottom there. And then the dry goods that I have in here can go in here and all that stuff in there. Um, yeah, so that's my kitchenette. Oh, I want to show you the coolest part about this kitchenette. I'll hop out here. <coughs> um, this kitchenette's on rollers and, and it's, it's got a swivel base on it. So it actually, you can pull it out away from the, that front seat there and swivel it out the door. Um, and uh, I'll do that right now for you so you can see how that works. Um, basically, just pulls out like that. And here's a little swivel mechanism. I got this at Home Resource. Uh, it was part of some kind of uh, kitchen um, set. Of, they have all kinds of stuff in kitchens that were pouring out and people have been replacing the kitchen when they donate the stuff there. Anyways, that was to something. I don't have no idea what it was. But that's all that was left, but I thought I could use it. So anyways, it pulls out like that, and then it just swivels. Back. So, so when I'm cooking, the weather's nice out. I can cook outside the van 
and I don't have to worry about all the steam that's coming off the food uh, gathering in the van and, and condensing on the walls and stuff. You can go uh, right out the van, or the majority of the van. I don't have it exactly uh, straight, pointing out straight, because if I wanted to have it come out all the way, I would have had to install it farther off the back of the seat here. And since space is a premium down here, I um, decided to, to um, set, decided this was this is basically good enough. A little bit of compromise between the two. Anyways, so that's my my new kitchenette that I just I got done finished building, and uh, last thing I need to do with it. is put some attachment points against the seat here so I can hook it up and it doesn't rattle around. Right now, on that swivel base, it moves a little bit and you're driving down the road, it's probably going to uh, knock against the back seat. So I'll probably put um, right where it touches the back seat here, right there, strip of felt across the back. I'll protect it, keep it from rattling around, at least hearing it. And then on each side down here, I'm going to put a couple of hooks that hook into the back of the seat there to keep it in place. Uh, anyways, if you guys uh, like this type of stuff and um, like Volkswagen bands and traveling and, and Montana and, and fishing and hiking and, and camping and all that stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the channel here. Uh, this is Jake with Bitter at Rambler and that's my kitchenette. Alright guys, thanks.